And then this machine is probably the oldest one. This machine is a hundred years old, bro. A hundred years old. I'm talking about this went through World War One, World War Two, Vietnam. It went through it all. And it still so. What's up everyone? This is The Life They Present featuring Michael Elliott. I'm a 24-year-old Dominican uh, fashion designer. I focus on making footwear, handbags, clothing, and anything re relating to art. Uh, just being around in different groups, there was never one you know, particular group I stayed in in terms of like, you know, high school and stuff like that. Um, and I was just kind of mingle with everyone and everybody had their you know, own culture and being able to be around that and me being Dominican already, you know, having a culture, I was able to use that for inspiration in terms of making different pieces and stuff like that. Currently right now, I'm actually in school for uh, footwear design and accessory design at FIT in New York. Uh, so for the most part, um, I actually go to school, you know, during the day. But when I'm not going to school or, you know, prior to uh, starting the semester most of the time i'm actually just uh, designing clothes or shoes or footwear um, just kind of doing different things that pushes me you know i do a lot of uh, different work as well other independent designers and you know other companies so it's it's never it's never the same it always varies i'm actually in the process of doing my first heel with it so this is the the heel that i've been stressing for for about like a whole two weeks um i'm about to finish it in a matter of like two days but i want to basically encapsulate an eighth in this container that's going to be inside the heel of the actual heel just like one of those things where it's like emergency purposes you at the club you know what i'm saying Shorty got the eighth on her, you know, people try to smoke. And boom, you just gotta crack the, the sole <laughs> real quick. Um, but yeah, like this was encapsulated into a vinyl. I have a sock knit type of upper as well. Do you have any concerns with, I guess, like the concepts surrounding marijuana and I guess design since it is for the project? So that was one of the issues that I was thinking about, but the whole aspect of the shoe and the design and it being encapsulated with the vinyl and the graphic, I felt like this would fit perfectly because we're dealing with this issue where, you know, marijuana and the being people being imprisoned in it. So it's like, you know, encapsulating that aspect of there's weed stuck inside the soul and people are in, in jail for that, you know, they're encapsulated and closed. So it's kind of that whole That's aspect right. of that too. So. I was thinking about that, but in reality, I think the concept has to stick true to itself. So I'm gonna just have to execute it that way, <laughs> to, to be honest with you. But that's kind of, you know, the, the projects and, and it puts me in a challenging position to be like, okay, well, I have the ability to make it like regular, like, you know, like nothing crazy, but you know, why take it to that extent when I could just do something great, you know? So I. I apply that aspect to everything that I make. Tailoring your life to what it is that you want it to be is the same thing with clothing. Tailoring the clothes that you want to wear, the shoes, the bags, you know, not subjecting yourself to things that are in the market only. I've worked with Nike. I was working at the House of Innovation a project in Levi's in Miami where we were customizing um, denim jackets, jeans we we're swapping up the the back tabs of them i've worked with an independent designer for a puma project for uh puma motorsports and it was like real crazy because i actually did that in the pandemic and it was one of the hardest things to do like designing through the phone companies that did independent projects for you know uh, celebrities like 50 cent j balvin uh, kevin durant lebron james but yeah i've done a good amount of things hopefully more in the future made it out of a custom blanket 
So, literally, if you put your hand, you like put your put your hand in there. What like, material is this? This is suede. This is clean. Like it got that extra warmth to it with the suede. And this was like a custom uh, graphic that I got made from this uh, Tampa-based graphic designer. She designed a whole alpha, uh, graphic for me, and then I, I made a jacket out of it. And so the branding on the front, is that your personal brand? Yeah, so uh, the aesthetic is my brand. In brackets, it's kind of hard to see it, but it wraps around to the back, where it says aesthetic. Being able to design things that have function to it is as important as the design is, you know? This is another piece. It was a, a blazer that we put uh, military pockets on it, you know? I designed this with one of the models, actually, the model that wore it. Uh, he had decided to put like heart on his sleeve, on the patch. We put like uh, the, the straps of the, the cargo uh, backpack from the military backpack on the back to wear it as a book bag. And he actually wore it like that with no shirt, and just as a, a book bag. Have you worked with any other uh, Dominican artists or designers? Yeah, I've worked with, um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. His name is uh, Cesar Perez. He is actually the one that has designed the Delo Mio Air Forces and the uh, Air Maxes. So I work a lot with him. You know, he's a very cool dude, very inspiring person. Um, he's, if I were to say I had a role model, he would be my role model. So you mentioned that you've been uh, designing and restructuring shoes and reconstructing and so on for about the past six years. Uh, how did you go about learning that? The technical aspects. So basically, I started off of uh, restoring shoes. You know, so when I was in high school, I wasn't able to afford the brand new Jordans and stuff like that. When Virgil was uh, appointed the creative director of Louis Vuitton, I wanted to create something that Off White and Louis Vuitton would collab on near in, a, in the near future if they were ever to do that. And I decided to design this uh, Louis Vuitton Off White. I actually bought a Louis Vuitton suitcase and took it apart. It hurt my soul when I did it, but I did it. Uh, I got some patent leather on the back heel part of it, uh, lamb skin on the inside part of it, and then just tumbled leather going throughout. This probably, let's say, by all the shoes that I've ever made, this is the most important one that I have. This one, and I don't even wear it. I've worn it like, once or twice. So there was this local store here, it was called East Coast. Um, and my boy worked there, his name was uh, Molly Gaines. And I went over there and I never been in the store before because I never could afford the shoes that they sold, the Jordans and stuff. And I told him, I was like, yo, I want to make shoes. And I'm saving money and I'm raising money too to buy my first sewing machine. So I went to them, he was like, word, I, you know, I fuck with the idea and everything. Definitely hit me up in like two, three days. When I went to go make my first shoe, which was uh, this one, I went back to the store to show him that I, I wanted to make, I made my first shoe. But the day that I wanted to go do it, I didn't go. And then I come to find out like two hours later that somebody shot him in his store. And I was never able to show him the shoes from him being able to give me these fives to me doing my first shoe, and then later on being able to hopefully show him that I wasn't able to, because he passed away. I signed the, the soul, the inside of the soul, and I, I put his uh, initials and the year he lived and everything. And he's like one of the biggest inspirations that I have, because he believed in me before I had anything. The one person that really inspires me as a, a designer probably be like Mason Margiela. Um, I had recently had seen this film on him. I've always liked his pieces and stuff, but I've se recently seen this film on how he operated as a designer and how he saw himself as a designer. And with him just being so top tier, he almost saw himself where he wasn't going there for the fame, right? So he wanted the clothes to speak for itself. Um, that's why he sometimes did shows with uh, the models wearing the masks. Um, and he also wanted to be incognito in a way where he didn't want people to know who he was. So he wasn't in front of the cameras. He wasn't uh, in front of the paparazzi and stuff like that. And 
in the interview that they did on him, they asked him why he has kept himself so hidden from everyone. And the one qu uh, answer he said was, because he looks at himself as just like everyone else. I put that in my day-to-day -day life, and I think that's one of the most inspiring things to, to say and do. My whole perspective is, through what I'm making, I wanna be able to inspire people, right? Just by just making the things I'm doing and just executing goals. And what better way to inspire people than the people that you grew up with or the people that are around you? You know, being able to show them that these things are capable. You know, I don't have to subject myself to only Rawway because I'm able to work in Miami or New York or LA. But there's almost like this aspect of home base, some place that you would call home in a sense. I've been able to build that here. And just the aspect of the city itself and how we're so connected with each other. I'm trying to build myself up so I can help build other people up as well. Our whole life is a masterpiece, an unfinished masterpiece. You know, our whole, our whole life, the whole world is our muse, you know what I'm saying? And being able to understand that and, and look at it like that, you could be able to build anything and build yourself and build who you are and use art to be able to build that. Because art is in everything. From the clothes that we wear to the music that we listen to, to the sounds of the birds that we wake up to and the crickets that we sleep to, art is everywhere. Thank you.